Hi, right, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna finish up this fourth gen tonight. Everything's been sanded with 600 grit and a red Nurka scuff pad. I need to wipe it down one last time and we'll be ready to mask out these racing stripes. While I'm wiping this thing down, do me a favor and like, subscribe, tap that bell so you get notified when I put out new content. Done a little bit of repapering here and there just to cover up all that extra overspray that was on the previous uh, masking. That way we don't have so much trash coming around this time. And you also probably notice that there's less parts in the paint booth. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know those are already done. Already re-cleared, slick as glass, ready to go. These are the only pieces that are actually gonna get any more paint work done to them. So they need to be in the booth. We are gonna be doing the same thing as we do with the stripes. We're gonna do on the center post that goes between the T-tops. All right, so here I'm using uh, the Vitec or VTEC, not sure how you pronounce it, uh, 707 waterborne pre-cleaner. First couple times I've used it, it uh, seems to be a pretty good cleaner. It definitely cleans. I did cut it with a little bit of water just because uh, it seemed to leave a little bit of residue behind no matter how, how fast I uh, tried to wipe and get it off there before it would evaporate. A little bit of water seemed to kind of thin it down just enough where it seemed to wipe off real nice and clean and definitely works really good and it's not quite as expensive as some of the other pre-cleaners. Alright, now we're all cleaned, tacked off. I'm going to measure out the hood, find my center point. And I'm going to run uh, this inch and a half yellow masking tape right down the left side of my center line. And then another piece on the right side so I get a, a three inch width in the middle. Now I'm measuring off 12 inches to each side. So I'm having 12 inches wide at the rear and at the front. I want them to taper to 8 inches right at the very front of the bumper there. I'm running inch and a half tape just above that, I guess you'd call it the front uh, crest of the bumper. And I'm just eyeballing these things. Just kind of a nice gentle taper down from, from the back of the hood to the front of the bumper. Now here you'll see I'm uh, rounding off there just with a with a roll of tape to mark it and a razor blade, cut it and make it turn. And uh, same thing in the back, I'm going 12 inches wide at the uh, up by the win window there, and then I'm doing 10 inches wide at the rear. I didn't want to taper them too much since it's such a short distance. Now, I'm eyeballing everything on the spoiler. I'm not measuring out. I want to make sure it looks correct. I'm not worried about whether it measures out correct. I just want it to look exactly the same. So, just kind of eyeballing it and going with it. Make sure everything lines up. All right, so now everything's done. I'm going to throw some plastic over the whole car just to mask the entire thing off. Not a big fan of using plastic at this point. Uh, I do believe it caused a little bit of a static issue once I unwrapped it and uh, probably caused a lot of my trash because I normally, I did it up with quite a bit of trash in this job even though I was just doing a reclear and I'm, I feel like it was static that caused a lot of that. I usually don't end up with, with that kind of trash in a job, and, you know, even though I tacked it off and everything real good. Now, of course, the little spoiler is separated from the big spoiler. Make sure everything is uh, done like it should be. So I'm getting this masked up, and I'll be ready for some for some base. All right, so here we go. We're getting ready to lay down our first coat of paint. We've got all the stripes masked out. Now I went with just a regular two-stripe setup. Uh, no little pinstripe going around the side or on either side of either one we're three inches in the middle 12 inches at wide at the rear and then eight inches wide to the to the front here if, if we created a straight corner right there i'll follow the same similar pattern in the rear 
Then the rear were 12 inches wide at the front and 10 inches wide at the rear, but we're still three inches in the middle. And then I carry that also through our RK Sport spoiler and our factory spoiler. We're just gonna be doing the very top. Underneath is taped up. Now obviously I used masking tape. I messed up and didn't have enough fine line to do the job. So I went ahead and took care of everything with masking tape. Now to prevent some bleed through on my edges, the first coat I'm gonna put down is the VWM 500. Just a mid coat, clear. You could use DVC 500 or any other mid coat. I'm gonna put that clear down. That'll help cover up and seal the edge of the tape. So when I lay my black down, uh, we won't have any bleed through issues. Now here I'm shooting with uh, my Iwata W400. It's a 1.3. I'm gonna be spraying at 18 PSI with the trigger fully pulled. Now, if you're familiar with the VWM500, it usually, well, it calls for being mixed with a hardener, with the same hardener that you use in the VC5700 clear. Now, I did not mix any hardener in this, since I'm gonna be directly applying uh, the base coat straight over top of it. So, it's only gonna take about 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the most. This will be set up and we'll be ready to move on to our actual color. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, centerpiece between the T-tops is already black. Uh, while I was doing something else, I uh, went ahead and shot a coat of black sealer on it, getting it ready for that black base coat. All right, that VWM is set up for just a minute. It's just a regular base coat. So now we're gonna put on our black base coat, which is gonna be 9700. We're gonna be using DBC, uh, the Deltron system. So it's just a solvent base, straight black. I was getting ready for the second coat of base. And here you'll see me checking my tape lines to make sure everything's pressed down, especially in these curves. You always want to kind of double check this stuff as you go through because sometimes it will lift up on you and then you'll have a little bit of overspray blow out the side there. So always, always check over it real fast. Plus it'll help you determine if something's still wet. You know, everything feels good and dry. Just want to make sure all that tape is 
press down nice and tight. All right, we've got three coats of black on. We're good and covered up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these into carbon fiber. Now what I have here is just a typical like cabinet liner. It has a, a square block pattern to it. We've got certain areas covered up because obviously this isn't wide enough and I wanna to try to work in small areas but I wanna keep these two areas actually kind of meshing together. Now I'm going to run it straight down that inside edge. Now what I have to go over top of this, we're just going to apply one coat of a mixture I came up with a long time ago. It's basically just gold pearl. It's got a little bit of graphite and some other stuff in there to give it a contrast against the black uh, to give you those different little square looks. But all we're going to do is apply one quick coat And we're gonna let it sit for a minute. We'll pull this off. We'll mask up everything else and we'll go around the whole car and all these parts. We're gonna do all that to everything. All right, now I am going to post this formula in the description. So if you're looking to try this yourself or you want to know what's in it, uh, I'm going to, I'll post the formula in the description. So everything, everything I've used will be in the description as usual. All right, so I didn't immediately jump to the other side of the hood. I went and did either the part of the deck lid and then came back and did a piece of the spoiler. I gave everything some time to dry before I masked over top of it. You don't want your paper sticking to the top either. So just kind of move yourself around, do what you can while you're waiting on something else to dry.
All right, so there you go. Carbon fiber racing stripes. We're ready for clear coat. We're gonna be putting three coats of VC5700 on there. We're gonna make this thing nice and slick. Not sure how well you can see the carbon fiber look already, but I promise you after we get that clear coat on there, that little bit of pearl's gonna shine real nice. All right, time for the Iwata WS400, uh, 1.3, shooting at 26 PSI. All right, it's time for a quick change out. I always like to mix two or three of these cups up and put them in the booth. It is nice to be able to just swap them out when you run out. You don't have to run out of the booth and try to pour more paint in there. It does make things a little, a little faster, a little easier.
All right, now as I get this coat finished up, I always like to do a little finger touch test where I started. I want to see, I want to see that clear coat kind of string off like a spider web, where it's nice and tacky and just kind of stringing away, as you might call it. Now I skipped the second coat on the video. We're just going to blaze through this third coat so we can move this video on along. Now I was taking about uh, about 10 minutes between coats. All right, so it's the next morning, everything's good and dry. Fix to unwrap this thing, get it out of the paint booth. Now, as you can see, that carbon fiber stands out really good when you get the clear coat on there. See if I can give you a good shot. Now, this is kind of a hard contrast between these two colors. My plan is to go back and I'm going to hand stripe a uh, dark gray uh, along the borders of the stripes on everything. That'd be the T-top center right there. That carbon fiber look. Stripes in the rear to match. Got that little angle out just like the front ones do. Now when I get done with the car, I'll end up putting it on Instagram. I'm not gonna make another video with the car. I'll just do some quick shots and post up there. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, tap that bell so you get notified when I put out new content. Y'all take care. Scratch that last statement on uh, about a part four. I am going to put out one more video once I get this car completely together, get the stripes done on the hood, get it completely polished. 100% done. I'm going to put another little short video out. On uh, I'll do one on YouTube and I'll put some stuff on Instagram. So y'all be looking out for this stuff.